Hi, I'm Alf Hartzenberg. I'm the National Project Manager for the Industrial Energy Efficiency Project of South Africa. I'm Greg Harrell, uh, located in Northeast Tennessee in the United States. Uh, I'm Director of Engineering Programs at Milligan University, and I also serve as a, a energy consultant to heavy industry around the world. And if you look worldwide, half of the energy use that man consumes uh, on, on the globe goes into industry. Uh, so industry is using just a tremendous amount of energy. Uh, and if you sort of subdivide the industry energy, uh, you'll find that 60%, uh, almost 70% uh, of the energy that is used in industry is used for steam and process heating systems. So if we want to target big energy users around the world, uh, industry is, is it. And if you want to target big energy users in industry, steam and process heating are the big players in the game. Process heat is varied. You can view process heat from as broad a array of options from an electric arc conic furnace to induction furnaces for the production of steel to the heating of fluids or solids or to simply in agro processing using steam as a direct injection. So the, the, the scope of process heating is very broad. But in industry, steam is the workhorse. We find steam in text, textiles, pulp and paper, uh, both medium and large users. We f I find l virtually every wine distiller in the Western Cape would have a steam boiler. There are a lot of joinery companies that uh, produce wood products that would use steam for and, 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 and generate through, through boilers hot water for curing of, of wood. So clearly from that, uh, you can start to get a sense that steam is quite pervasive and that understanding steam becomes equally more important. What we generally find is no one facility or no series of facilities are going to kind of have the same one thing that we see wrong. However, we do see a list of things over and over and over again. Uh, the list would kind of start at the boiler and we would uh, make sure that our boilers are recovering as much heat as they can from the exhaust gases. The next uh, kind of item on the checklist would be uh, combustion performance. Uh, how well are we managing the combustion uh, in our boilers? Uh, how well are we managing those, uh, uh, converting the fuel resource into uh, uh, energy and the steam? Another item still at the boiler would be what we call blowdown energy, right? But blowdown is a thing we have to do with boilers, and that is throw away some of the hot water that's in the boiler to make sure that the chemical impurities that build up in the water uh, are removed. Uh, and blowdown is, is often a really good area to focus some attention because you can recover almost all of the blowdown energy and put it back into the steam system. So waste heat recovery is an incredible opportunity in many plants. I worked with a steel plant in the Western Cape where on the hot strip mill, they were discharging such a lot of waste heat that it became a no brainer to recover that. And it cost them 12 million Rand to install a waste heat recovery unit. They paid that back within 13 months. They use that waste heat to heat up the oil in the large gearboxes of the one and two megawatt hour electric motors, very large motors. And they use, they capture that waste heat to do that instead of using electricity. The boiler is important, it's super important, uh, but also the distribution system is really important 
and the end users are really important uh, to investigate. And the condensate collection system and all of the components in the STEAM system, they're all interconnected. They are all interrelated. Changing one thing at one place will impact other parts of the system. And so you need to make sure you have a, a good overall investigation from one end of the facility to the other. My advice to any plant manager, GM, utility manager out there is consider the lost opportunities by doing nothing. Consider the dangers of becoming less competitive. Consider the loss of market share that may ensue as a result. Consider the greater penalties in terms of lack of compliance or emissions or carbon tax that you will bring to bear in your organization by simply not doing some of the very basic things better. Thank you.